Should we like wait thing. a couple seconds? Yes. Silence. It looks like we're about to show up. Yep. All right. Hi, everyone. <laughs> this is uh, Javia. I'm assuming that we are live right now. Um, And, um, well, there we go. <laughs> um, I have uh, quite a complicated setup, but I want to thank everyone for joining us. And today we're going to play for you uh, some stuff, <laughs> some, some instruments, acoustic instruments um, that we are processing. Um, I'm starting to work on my dissertation research in, in the very beginning stages of it, and uh, it's, it's that scary moment where you're starting to do all this research, and there's so much of it that it's hard to really figure out uh, what what to focus on because everything's connected. Um, that's one thing that my dad taught me when I was a kid, everything's connected. There's nothing that's not connected. Um, everything's a frequency, and uh, I really enjoyed I encourage all of you guys to check out the last Hot House uh, stream concert with, um, I believe it was the, oh, I forget the name, but um, Deshaun Mosley's group, The Visitors. Um, but Deshaun talks about uh, using music to uplift us, and uh, that's pretty much what my dissertation is in general going to be about. Um, but yeah, we're going to play some interesting things for you. Um, this is the first time that we've ever done this before, and we've been... Um, going through a lot of uh, tech rehearsals this week, and I have like this really crazy delay happening right now. Um, so don't be surp surprised, you know, at some point I might just shut everything off and we might just play, call it a day, <laughs> you know? When the technology doesn't work, um, you know, you just keep moving. So uh, we'll play something for you now. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy it. The Celestial Railroad. It means to be a boy, in your opinion. To be strong, to not cry, to be tough. Um, whatever, like the stereotype type is. You watch sports. You're all rough and aggressive. And Playing in dirt, always think girl, 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 makeup, dress, dress in, like sleepover. Pictures on the internet of cleaning kits for girls that are they, they that aren't sold for boys, like a pink cup that girls girl push around. It's very, 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 very superhero outfits and. Legos and then the girls are all Barbie or baby and 
Marxist society like planted that image in there, 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 do this. I don't really think it matters like if you consider um like girl stuff, boy stuff, because everyone does their own thing. Can it doesn't really? Can it doesn't really? Can it doesn't? 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 Can
that actually worked out. <laughs> oh man. Uh, I got people that, that I recognize here on the feed. Do you? Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah, awesome. yeah. yeah, I got one of my students here. Oh, shout out to the student. Shout out Cheryl. <laughs> shout out Cheryl. Shout out to Cheryl. Somebody put oh. like a paragraph comment too. <laughs> oh, that was your student? No, I thought that was your student. Oh no, somebody's gonna I gotta grade this afterwards. Yeah, we got like a PhD thesis going on. <laughs> um so I wanna uh as you see, we like to have fun. This is really strange. Uh and it's funny because we're oh, we're we're kind of forced to do this right now, right? Because of the um the quarantine. And we don't know how long this is gonna last. And this is where we are, and what this situation, this pandemic has created might be a new form of music, or at least right now we see these newer venues, right? They've been around for a, a while, but um, we're now forced to use them, which is, I think is a very different thing uh, when you're choosing to play um, telematically. Is, pretty much what we call this. Yeah, could you do Yeah. Could you describe that for people cuz I was trying to describe it and uh, I don't think I did a good job. You get an F. So cuz this is a novel thing, not a, a lot of people have access to. Yeah, so um I'll I'll spend a, maybe a couple of minutes talking about this. So, um I thought about this idea of people playing from different places um many years ago and I didn't know that it already existed. Um, so, I entered this PhD program at UCI. Uh, the program is called ICIT, which stands for Integrated Composition, uh, Improvisation, and Technology. And it turns out this has been done for about 20 years already, from what I can tell. Um, one of my professors here might be able to <laughs> correct me on that. but. Um, they call it telematics. So right now, I am sitting in Sherman Oaks, California. Might as well introduce people. Um, on viola, I have Leslie DeShazor Adams. Hello, everyone. Leslie is in Detroit, Michigan. And I have Eldon Kelly on guitar, who is... Are you in Lansing or East yeah, Lansing? Yeah, Lansing. Lansing. He's in Lansing. And we have another friend of mine from my same program, Tirath Majumder, who is in Irvine, California. He is doing all of our tech right now. So all of the um, cables, all of, all of my inputs, everything is going straight to Tirath. And he's actually using our professor's computer remotely. My professor's computer is on campus someplace. <laughs> um, so I just foresee this happening more and more. Um, it's caused me to create music differently, and I really hope that um, we continue creating music telematically or remotely um, because I've been discovering some things about my own artistry um, that's pretty cool. I'm also learning about technology that is also really cool. It's also very nerve-wracking. <laughs> so again, um, I said at the top of the show, I'm hearing a delay in my headphones that is not very pleasant, but I'm working with it. Even that is causing me to play differently. And I just, I receive that, I accept it. I just, it's what it is, right? And so we make music out of what we hear and what our perception is. You guys may not be hearing exactly what I hear in my headphones or Leslie or, or Eldon. So hopefully what you hear sounds good. <laughs> um, we'll do another one right now. Um, Oh, and I, I will say after this one, um, I'll talk a little bit about some of the vocal samples that you heard earlier. And this is all unrehearsed. <laughs> As I like to say to uh, Leslie and Eldon, I have some chords in the next one that I programmed, and I didn't tell you what they were, so catch up mustard. <laughs> it's a laffy taffy joke. It takes confidence to go out on stage and perform, but luckily for me, there was no shortage of love 
and validation in my family. I like to think of confidence as a big red balloon that can either soar. My parents had the challenge of raising three daughters, and that each of our confidence balloons was sky high. I was the only balloon girl in my class, but that wasn't a problem. I was significantly taller than the other girls, and instead of long, 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 long kinky now, 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 but those things were in front of my The problem was, according to the National Esteem, 98% of girls feel that there is an immense pressure from external sources to look a certain way, 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 way. According to a Harvard psychology study, the brain actually can't differentiate between a real memory and an imagined one. This is why visualization is so important.
being feminine precludes an interest in an aptitude for math, while former Harvard President Larry Summers has demonstrated the stupidity of suggesting that girls can't do math. What persists is the idea that girls don't do math.
thank you. I'm going to assume that people are clapping. <laughs> um, this is, uh, that's the awkward part, I guess, is no studio audience. So when you're alone in your bedroom and nobody's clapping, you don't know what to think. Um, so I don't know what else to talk about besides those samples that you heard. So. Um, the first few samples that you heard uh, when we started were, I guess, a research study. I, I found these research studies um, that are talking about things that I'm going to be talking about in my dissertation work. And, and um, Overall, I guess a, a big general word to give you is self-confidence. Um, I was kind of blessed to grow up in a household where my parents encouraged me to try anything, to try everything. Uh, and even within that, um, when we talk about social conditioning, you know, my dad has, he's old school, he has his ideas about what a man should be and what a, a woman should be. But with me and my sisters, he still taught us how to change a tire. Uh, he wanted us to know how to change the oil on a car and, and things like that, um, how to use a drill, how to be safe when using all these things. And so me and my sisters all <laughs> are kind of handy like that. Um, he wanted us to be self-sufficient. Self that was his main thing, um, you know, and it's helped me. Um, it, it's helped me get out of some situations because they didn't really follow into the, the, the social conditioning that the rest of the world kind of follows. And as an educator, I found myself teaching students who, especially girls, who would you know, when I'm, I'm teaching my beat making classes, you know, I have all these um, um, pr beat making production tools behind me. While I'm teaching, the girls will walk away. They'll start off there for about five minutes. They might stay maybe 12 to 15 minutes and then they walk off and I decided to ask, where are you going? And they said, girls don't do this. And of course I'm standing there like, uh, ain't I a woman? <laughs> uh, like, of course girls can do this. Of, of course they can. Why, why is it that when it comes to technologies, we are often telling our girls in many different ways that you belong over here. Um, math and science is not for you. But it's not just math and science. I see that in a lot of other areas in life. Um, and what happens is it really breaks down a child's self-esteem, their self-confidence. And so when they do grow up, because um, I've taught adults as well, it stays with them. It stays with them that they're not supposed to do something. You know, you're not supposed to do this, you're not supposed to do that. And I personally don't agree with that, especially when it comes to gender. I, it just doesn't make any sense to me. So um, that was, that's kind of like the theme of what I've created today is just wanting to do works, some pieces that talk about why these things are the way they are. And even here um, in some of these uh, samples that it comes from home, it comes from parents and teachers. That's where it's coming from. Um, when you think about your your average day during the school year, many kids are with teachers, they're with parents, and so um, if we, well, teacher, <laughs> not a parent yet, but if we parents and teachers learn to, we have to change our own vocabulary. We have to change the way that we're thinking about our young men and women and teach them that they can do anything. Um, and just remember that if you are holding a child back, you could be holding back the world's next Albert Einstein. 
Okay, so um, that's kind of why I put these pieces together. We're going to play some more. And I'm not going to play any more samples because when I play samples, I cannot hear them unless I go to Hot House Global on their Twitch feed and hear them, but then I hear them seven seconds later. <laughs> so I just found out my, my tech issue. Um, so we're just going to just create right now. We're just going to make something up like we've been doing. Uh, Elden, you want to start us off? You've read my mind. Go for it. <laughs> Thank you. 
awesome. <laughs> um, it's our time, it looks like. <laughs> Let's bring some good vibes up in here. Fantastic. <laughs> um, we got some, some clapping, cursing face. <laughs> Um, yeah, I want to thank um, the Hot House. I want to say this real quick. It's 5 o'clock, and um, we were only meant to do this um, hour show. Um, but I was introduced to the Hot House in 1999 when I first moved to Chicago. Um, I transferred from Michigan State University to Columbia College in Chicago. And in the fall of 99, I decided to take that semester off before I started just to get to know the city, Chicago. And I lived at 9th and Wabash with my brother and Hot House was two blocks away. And it was amazing because <laughs> it was just the most uh, amazing um, experience for me. It was my introduction to experimental music, great black music. Um, it wasn't an introduction for world music, but for world music concerts. I had never seen um, like a lot of like live shows like that, and it really influenced me um, as a musician. And I never, never really thought of myself as an artist. Um, I, my 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 sole goal as a musician was to be a musician. I wanted to play with people. I wanted people to hire me, and I wanted to interpret their music. So. You know, at some point I started composing my own works, but I want to thank Hot House deeply and s sincerely, um, genuinely for everything that you guys have done. I want to say since the, sometime in the 90s, I think is when you guys started. And so I'm really appreciative of platforms like this, that the Hot House is still out here um, promoting and presenting shows from all over the world. Um, earlier today, there were a group of musicians from, I believe they were in India, sounded amazing. And um, I w wanna just encourage you guys to continue supporting Hot House. There's not too many venues around like it. And I'm really happy to have um, discovered Hot House. Just, I think I saw it in a paper for Eight Bold Souls. I think Eight Bold Souls were playing and I went and I was like, wow, that was interesting. It's really interesting music. And I think I went up the street to hear music and brought the CD. Um, and eventually, um, many of you don't know, that was a time in my life where I stopped playing music. I was a performer and I stopped. And eventually I met Vincent Davis. He introduced me to Nicole Mitchell and then my world exploded. So. <laughs> um, and I want to thank again uh, Tirath Majumdar, who's, you guys don't see him, uh, he's in Irvine, working all of our, our tech support. Um, Eldon Kelly in Lansing, Michigan on guitar. Um, and Leslie DeShazer Adams, who's on viola, an uh, old friend of mine. The three of us do play with a group in Detroit called Musique Noir. We've been together, I want to say since 2005. Leslie, do you remember? That sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> so we've known each other a long time, and um, that was one reason. Th this setup is not easy, and I needed people who are familiar with each other's playing for this to, to work. Um, I'm having my own tech issues, but I played through it. But I know that when my stuff fails, that these two are going to hold me down. So I want to thank you guys. Um, for joining me in this expedition. <laughs> and I want to thank all of you for joining join, joining us. Sorry, I just got braces and I cannot talk. <laughs> um, but I want to thank all of you guys for joining in. Um, if there's anything that Hot House wants you guys to know, I saw a message here. Um, oh, if you ever want to see past concerts that Hot House Global has presented, they're all on their Twitch feed page, on their uh, Twitch page, Twitch TV, basically where you are now. <laughs> Just do a search. Um, and yeah, I, I don't know if there's anything else that they want us to mention to you, but I want to thank everyone who made this happen. Thank you so much.
tip the band. Yeah, yeah tip the band. Put those. Can you put your Venmo and Cash App links? Because I don't think those are up. Yeah, the Venmo and Cash App. Um, and PayPal. Just PayPal put those up again. There, um, PayPal dot me slash Jovia Armstrong. Um, Cash App is Jovia Music. Venmo, I believe, is Jovia Armstrong. How many Jovias are there? Like, if you do a little search, you right. should be able to find me. Only one. Um, It'll get to her. It'll get to you, but it is Cash by on, mail. on the page. Uh, again, thank you guys so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.